If you don't know this, you're not going to believe this. Here's what we've uncovered. Now, I was not the original uncoverer of this information, but I took the information that I found and I verified it, and I did a lot deeper digging. I know that Dr. Grace has as well, and we've confirmed all of this. Plus, I did find something in the pictures, the images section on Google that I'm going to tell you about, but you've got to see it to believe it. Let me tell you about this. Here's what we've uncovered. Now, th none of this really goes to the Zulo investigation, so I'm, I'm not revealing what Zulo and Arpaio know. What they know is 100-fold bigger than this, okay? But this just gives you people that have been following this Obama identity crisis deal some more information. Here's what we've just recently discovered. Loretta Fuddy, of course, who just died in this mysterious, or mysteriously died in this plane crash, who was the Department of Health director that certified and verified Barack Obama's birth certificate. By the way, she happened to be conveniently hired three months, just three months prior to Obama releasing this birth certificate, which we now know is a 100% forgery and fabrication from a two-year-long criminal investigation. We now know that. We know that. And that information is going to be made public as a part of what Arpaio and Zulu are going to bring. But the universe-shattering information doesn't even go to that, okay? So, anyway. But here's what we know. Loretta Fuddy. Now we find out she was deeply tied to a cult called Subud. And it's spelled S-U-B-U-D. It looks, in, in English, it would look like it would be Subud. <laughs> but it's pronounced Subud. This cult originated, guess where? Wait for it. Indonesia. Okay, now where did Obama's mama spend a lot of time? Indonesia. Who was one of Obama's daddies, stepdaddy supposedly, maybe daddy, who knows? Uh, this, uh, this, uh, um, uh, oh, I can't remember his name. <laughs> now, I was, I'm remembering, I'm, I'm, because I've got this Indonesian name in my mind now, Subarka, uh, Sotoro, Sotoro, there it is. Okay, this, this Sotoro fellow. Okay, that she was hanging with, that was supposedly his stepdaddy in Indonesia. Well, Loretta Fuddy is a member of this cult, and Obama's mama is a member of this cult. Guess where the world headquarters of the cult is now? Chicago. Guess where they have another big main branch? Hawaii. Now, is any of this, does any of this strike you? as Now, think about this. So here you've got this woman, Stanley Ann Dunham, who's in Indonesia, She's in a cult. Well, in that cult group with her is a woman named Loretta Fuddy. Now, this is years ago. She's got this little boy she's carting back and forth between Indonesia and Hawaii, and you've got all these passport anomalies that I uh, don't even know if we have time to talk about now with, him, with, with uh, oh, Barack Obama having three names, Barack Obama, uh, Bar uh, Barry Satoro, and then, then on a passport is Sobarka, which we find out is an Indonesian name, probably as a result of his relationship to this cult group, maybe, but... So you get, he's got three names which come up in passports and you know birth certificates and all of that. So you've got Loretta Fuddy tied to Subud. You've got Barack Obama's mama tied to Subud. The world headquarters in, is in Chicago where Obama's politics spring from. And then when Obama gets into the presidency, he locks down all of his records, all of them. No one has ever seen an official legal birth certificate. No one. The Congressional Research Service has said that, documented that in writing, and they are the investigative arm of Congress, not some birther site. Hillary Clinton, by the way, is the one who brought all of this up in the beginning. So people who want to call me a birther in tinfoil hat, look at Hillary Clinton first. She's the one that brought it up first, particularly Obama's Indonesian connections, and that's what got her in trouble with the media. But she was right. So now... Three months, a couple of years ago, three months prior to Obama releasing his so-called birth certificate, which we now know is a fraud, Neil Abercrombie of Hawaii, the governor, he appoints a new Department of Health director who happens to be Loretta Fuddy, who is involved in a cult with Obama's mama. She releases a birth certificate that we now know is a fabrication and a fraud. It's a forgery. Then, three months ago, Arpaio and Zulo start announcing that they're going to break something in March about all of this, and Fuddy dies in a plane crash. Now, connect the dots, people. 
Now, go to the video, and here's the shocker. we got to wrap this up. Go to the sh video and the, and the shocker. So I started doing some research under Google Images, and I found the leader of this cult group, and I saw a picture of him when he was in his 40s or 50s, it looks like, sitting in a chair. I thought it was Obama. I thought it was Barack Obama. I'm looking at a picture here. This is amazing. We've got this. I got this guy who's sending me all this material on uh, on um, on Subud and in Indonesia, and yeah. I, I don't know. PPSimmonsAlive dot com. If you guys have anything at all to contribute, I am looking at a picture. I'm very much looking forward to uh, you and uh, Brandon discussing this. Uh, but I'm looking at a picture of an Obama impersonator, mm -hmm. uh, and his name is. I got to be careful how I say his name here. You know, it's kind of like uh, 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 Fukushima. When yeah. We, <laughs> yeah. When we were, when we first when we were first talking about that disaster over there, we had to be very careful. Right. That we, that there, we, you know, there are a lot uh, of words we, like that. Uh, yeah, like the last yeah, name of so. yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Like the last name of the governor of California for a long time, Arnold. <laughs> well, I mean, no, truly. I mean, there's there are words and names that you just kind of have to make sure you get the inflection just right, or or you'll mess it up. But anyway, go ahead. It's true. It's true. What you say is very true. And this guy's name. This guy's an Obama impersonator, and uh, his name is um, uh, it's Ilhan I L H A N. Okay. Uh, Anas A N A S. Okay. You can pronounce that any way you want. Right. <laughs> in your personal living space. There. <laughs> I got you. We're going to pronounce it Ilhan Anas. Okay. That's how we're pronouncing it. That's how we're going to say his name, even if it's not the correct way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and uh, Ilhan Anas here. He is from Java, Indonesia, uh -huh. and he is an he's an Obama impersonator. Right. You know who else could have been an Obama impersonator? Is the guy who founded the uh, cult. Subud. <laughs> founded yeah. uh, Subud, right? So, so that, that dude could have been. So, so that ahead. I'm sorry. Again, we've got this delay. So that dude yeah. that's the impersonator. I saw the that you sent me a, a picture today, and I was looking at it. I've seen him before, but you're telling me that he's from Indonesia, from Java. He's Javanese. This guy, yeah, this guy looks identical. I know he does. The teeth, I know the lips, the eyes, the everything. Black hair, the the skin yeah, tone, the, the black, uh, the yeah, ears, the, black, the know, ears, the everything. Top, the ears, ears, yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh! The big, the big white smile. The eyes are identical. Yeah. And I'm telling you, folks, if 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 Barack Obama, he, now he's a little bit younger than Obama, right? So if if he if let's say Obama would have dropped dead in two thousand and eight after winning the election, right. they could have done a Paul McCartney here and just switched him out with this guy, right? And nobody you know, would have known. There there there, there, there are people who, who who theorize that that the that the Paul McCartney that you see alive today right. is not the original Paul McCartney. Right? So what you're trying to say then is this cult leader though, who looks right. so much like Obama in this video we did. I mean, that's not yeah. beyond the realm of possibility that that could be Obama's daddy because he's Javanese from Indonesia as well. And and so right. that's the point right. you're making is the people there are, are, have the genetics within them that uh, that Obama could have come straight from that line. Well, isn't the argument, though, that Barack Obama has African-American genetics, uh, Negro genetics in him? Well, that's and, that's and, the and, argument. Right, but now, 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 isn't it true though that uh, people from Indonesia have those same genetic markers? Yes, I I did some heavy research on that just in the last couple of days, and uh, because I was just blown away by this picture that I found of the cult leader, right. he he looks like Obama. I mean, he's identical to him, and and so I started doing some research. Could it be? Could it be? I mean, are, are the what's the genetics of the Javanese people? And uh, that's what I discovered that there are uh, Negroid and as well as other um, mixes within some of the Javanese people. In fact, one of the articles I went to had pictures of various uh, strains of Javanese people, and several of them looked like they could be completely African, but yet they were Javanese. Right, right. Well, you guys need to look up this guy, Ilhan Anas. Look up pictures of this guy. I'm telling you, you'll be blown away by the similarity. Yeah. And, 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 and also blown away by the possibility that Barack Obama is not even, uh, not, not at all who he says he is. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, I surprise. I know, I know who my dad is. That's right. Uh, yeah, this, right. And I know where our birth certificates are. Mike, we're slap out of time. Right. 